guys welcome to GED Mad Prep welcome okay if today is your first time on this channel and we're here to support you in your GED test especially in your math test okay so um, if it's your first time please try to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are instantly notified whenever we upload a video for you okay so this week I'm going to be taking questions on slopes okay that's the most important questions on slope I don't want the video to be that too long so i'm going to be breaking down the questions maybe in eight eight minutes so you don't get bored okay and you don't get overwhelmed if the uh, you know a 15 minutes video can overwhelm you you can just get to a point and you you zone out so i'm going to be taking it bits by bits so like today i'm going to be taking about three questions on slope most important questions so we're going to be looking at them how the questions are being set up and how to interpret them and you knowing what formula to use okay in some particular questions like here you're given two uh, coordinate points and you're told to look for the slope sometimes you'll be given two coordinate points and you're told to look for the equation of the line so this week we're going to treat all those questions most important questions so you fully understand slopes and i'm going to create a playlist where i'll put those videos so you can always watch them all right okay so um so let's get on to the questions we have today so this first question says what is the slope of a line that passes through the point this. Remember your, your slope formula and uh, always have this at the back of your mind, but it also should be on your formula sheet. Okay, uh, slope is represented as M. So slope M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by what? X2 minus X1. Okay, so this is the first point and this is the second point. Okay, don't mix it up. You know, that's where students get um, slope confused. They make this sometimes, they, they just pick any point at random. But please, the first point being mentioned, okay, what is the slope of the line that passes through points? This and this. So this is the first point, okay, and this is the second point. So it means I was also um, tell, um, you know, I tutor students, okay, online on Zoom, that's private tutoring. So I always make sure um, they label this, okay? So come up here and say this is X1. Remember your coordinate point. This is X1 and this is Y1 and this is what X2 and this is what Y2. So this is going to help you, okay, so you don't get confused when imputing your values into your formula, okay? So now let's impute these values now. So this is Y2, right? So we put 6, okay, minus, what is Y1? It's 4 divided by what is x2 x2 is 4 then what is x1 x1 is what 2 so minus 2 so what do we have here we have 6 minus 4 what is 6 minus 4 that is 2 and what is 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 so we have a 2 over 2 we can reduce this and this will reduce to what 1 so 2 will cancel cancel out and we have a 1 so our slope here is what 1 so this is our answer our answer is option B. You can see how easy it is when you just quickly do this, all right, on a sheet, on your sheet of paper, okay, your rough sheet, quickly do this so you don't miss your points when imputing your values into the formula. Okay, so let's go, to, go on to our next question. Okay, so we have this next question here. So we have a grid here. It says, which of the following ordered pairs shows the location of point L? Okay, so this is point L. Remember, this is zero, this is your y, this is your x. These are the positive uh, points of, this is, uh, let's, let's label it together. This is, we have one, we have two, positive, okay? Uh, three, we have four, and this is what, five, okay? So this is one, positive two, positive three, positive four, and positive what, five, okay? And here, for the x-axis, we have a negative one, a negative two, a negative 3, it's a negative 4, and a negative what, 5, okay? And for the y-axis here, we have a negative 1, it's a negative 2, a negative 3, a negative 4, and a negative what, 5, okay? So now let's try to get what is what, uh, the location of point L here. So L, we open up our bracket. Remember, your first point will be on the x-axis. So on the x-axis, we fall at what? This is what? Minus 5. So we have minus 5. And on the y-axis, let's trace down L. And we have what? A positive 1. So we have a minus 5 
positive 1. So our right option here is option B. Okay? So that's the answer for the point of what? The location of point L. Now the next question says, what is the slope of the line that passes through point L and M? Okay, the slope of the line that passes through points L and M. So it means L is the first point and M is the what, second point. So we already know the location of point L, right? Which is minus 5, 1. This is location of point L. So let us try to find the location of point M. So let's come up here. Okay, and um, if you need a um, um, uh, private tutoring one-on-one -on -one. you can also contact me there's a Facebook group sorry I didn't mention that Facebook group you can join and you get latest updates on several resources videos that will help you with your GED math test and also in a, a community to support you and motivate you okay and you can also reach me out I'm the admin on the group so you can um, you know send me a private message and uh, we will um, get started okay so, and you just tell me your time i will get started with the private tutorial online via zoom okay so i will drop the link of the facebook group in the video description box of this video and uh, also the link of the playlist of slopes i would also drop it in the video description box of this video or in the comment section all right so let's quickly do this so we have here our point m is what on the x-axis where does it uh, where would it lead us to it will lead us to what minus three so our first point is minus three comma what's our y-axis let's trace this down we have four so we have a four here so this are our uh, points of l and m now remember this is what x1 y1 and this is what x2 y2 so let's put in our formula of our slope which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus what x1. So what is y2? We have 4 minus 1 divided by what is x2? We have the minus 3 minus, this is a minus 5, so minus 5, okay? So here we have 4 minus 1 is 3. Here we have this minus multiply this minus, we're going to have a positive. So we have the minus 3 plus 5, okay? Let me just write this here, minus 3 plus 5. You know, we have to open up this bracket. When you multiply it, you have a positive. So what is minus 3 plus 5? Do you know what that is? We are going to have a positive or 2, okay? And if you don't understand your signs, there's a video. I've explained your sign rule, okay? How to, um, you know, add, subtract uh, negative and positive numbers, okay? I'll also leave the link to that video in the video description box. So here we have... 3 over uh, minus 3 plus 5 is what a positive 2. So our slope here is what 3 over 2. So this is our answer. And our right option here is option D. We have solved three questions here. And watch out for the next video this week. Maybe same time tomorrow. I would also um, do another video on slopes with different questions, different patterns. Okay. And I think the next video we're going to be looking at how to get the equation of the line, your you know your slope intercept form, your point slope uh, point slope uh, formulas. We're going to be looking at that. Okay. So uh, thank you for staying tuned and don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for He is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. In him you find all things, okay? And in him you find heaven at last. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and also share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones preparing for the GED test. Thank you. And see you in our next video.